Hey, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Chris Maloney back with you for another edition of CWN Predicts New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 15 Night 2 coming up tomorrow morning at 3 a.m. officially on Fight as well as New Japan Pro Wrestling World. So uh, uh, again, Chris Maloney, London, Ontario, Canada coming to you live right now on Twitch. Uh, it'll be another premiere on Facebook as well as YouTube at 6 o'clock tonight. Uh, so if you watch on Facebook or YouTube, hit the like, subscribe button, and thank you very much. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment as I'm doing the show here. And then obviously I will upload everything to audio as well. So uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling Wrestle Kingdom 15 Night 1 is in the books. Um, I haven't watched it in its entirety yet, so uh, the recaps will be a little bit delayed. Uh, but once I've watched uh, uh, this morning's show, uh, as well as tomorrow morning's show, I'll make sure to put them up. Facebook, YouTube, as well as the uh, our website, cwnonline.ca. But like I said, this is CWN Predicts for Night 2 of Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, Pre-show will officially begin at 2 a.m. for those in the building uh, however, they're not doing anything as far as the pre-show goes, as far as putting it uh, uh, online, so to speak. So it will not be on Fight. It will also not be on New Japan Pro Wrestling World. Uh, two Stardom exhibition matches are going to take place on the pre-show, though. Uh, like I said, 2 a.m., but it's uh, going to be untelevised there. But uh, uh, New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling World 1972.com states the two matches are first match we'll see of uh, two of Stardom's most prominent factions collide. When Queen's Quest uh, take on Donna Del Mondo, Atsaya uh, Kamatane, Azumi, and Yutami, Hashishida uh, will take on Micah Natsupoi Ai, and Himeka. So I'm still <laughs> learning some of these names. Uh, but then from there, the second tag belt, we'll see uh, Mayu Iwatani. Iwatani I'll uh, get that name right uh, sometime this year as well. And Tam Nakano make uh, a rare combination against uh, Suri and Tokyo Sports Female Wrestler of the Year. Uh, I don't know if it's Julia or G. Lee, but uh, I'll get that name right as well. Uh, lucky fans uh, able to attend the Tokyo Zone on January 5th. We'll have a great chance to celebrate the best in women's wrestling and Wrestle Kingdom. Uh, matches will not air on New Japan World or Fight. So those in attendance in the building will get to see two uh, start of matches, uh, tag team match, as well as a six women tag team match as well. Uh, from there, we go into the main show, which will be televised uh, 3 a.m. Again, so early morning or late night, uh, depending on, on if you're an early bird or, or what, what do they call them? Uh, Nighthawk, so to speak. Uh, but uh, yeah, again, the main card, 3 a.m. fight in New Japan Pro Wrestling World. Again, Tokyo Dome and Tokyo Japan. So the main card will see six matches take place. Uh, first match of the night is the King of Pro Wrestling 2021 four-way match, which will feature Bad Luck Fale, Bushi, Chase Owens, and Toru Yano. And Yano is the only one I got right as far as predictions go. Uh, the finish of uh, uh, New Japan Rambo that took place earlier this morning had uh, Bad Luck Fale last eliminating Young Lions, Gabriel Kidd, uh, Yu Yu U Uemara, as well as Yoda Tetsu. Uh, Yano was the last person to enter the Rumble. So 22 men in this Rumble here. Never made it to the ring, though, however, as Fale's elimination marked the end of the match. So Yano taunted his future opponents after the match ended and as he made his exit. So basically, Yano's on his way down to the ring. And uh, as he's doing this, bad luck follows eliminating these guys. Three guys in the ring. Yano is the fourth. Yano never makes it officially into the match, but there is your final four there. So bad luck follow. Bushi, Chase Owens, and Toru Yano going into this match for the King of Pro Wrestling Trophy uh, 2021 version. I'm going to say he repeats. When I look at the names in this, Chase Owens can't really see it happening. Bad luck Fale, he's he's there, but he's... Um, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's, uh, he doesn't need a championship or trophy, so to speak. Uh, we got uh, Bushi, who uh, it might be the dark horse, so to speak. Uh, but I'm going to say Toriano uh, retains. So Toriano 2020 as well as 2021 King of Pro Wrestling. That is my prediction there. Match number two, the night IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match. Suzuki Gun, which is El Desperado and Yoshinobu uh, Kanemoro taking on one or eight, which is re Uzuki, <laughs> I'm still having a hard time pronouncing his first name. Ryuzuki, I'm going to say Ryuzuki, uh, Taguchi, and Master Wado. And I didn't realize what I made my predictions yesterday with regards to uh, the King of Pro Wrestling, uh, the Battle Royal there with uh, New Japan Rambo. I picked Master Wado being one of the final four, and then all of a sudden I look at it, I was like, oh, crap, he's in this match today. So that wouldn't have made sense at all. So 
Riazuki, Taguchi, Master Waddle, uh, going for the tag team championships, the uh, junior heavyweight tag team championships against Suzuki Gun. I'm going to say it makes no sense at all to put the tag team titles on uh, uh, one or eight. Uh, that is uh, Taguchi and Master Wado. It'd be a complete surprise, but uh, I'm going to say Suzuki Gun as strong as they have been. Uh, uh, that's Desperado and Kanemaru. Um, I'm going to say yes, they retain IWGP uh, Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship and still, but the interesting thing about this to note is tag record, uh, one and zero for one or eight. So they do, they have a, a win over Suzuki Gun, so it makes it interesting there, but I'm going to say, uh, like I said, Suzuki, uh, Suzuki Gun retains there. Uh, match number three of the night, never open weight championship match, uh, Shingo Takage, the dragon taking on the one and only Jeff Cobb of the Empire. Uh, unfortunately, Will Ospreay wasn't too successful uh, with his outing with uh, obviously Okada, uh, you know. But um, it, you know, in uh, Great Okan was <laughs> as well. Uh, so I mean, it's uh, is Jeff Cobb going to be the one who walks out of uh, uh, you know uh, Wrestle Kingdom as uh, as a winner? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say we have a new uh, never open weight champion with regards to Jeff Cobb. I'm going to say the timing is right. If you listen to any of the shows I have done. Uh, I was never really a big fan of Babyface Cobb, um, you know, uh, but the fact is he's becoming a monster heel. He's got a, a badass look, so to speak, going on right now. And uh, Shingo Tagage, as much as I love the guy, uh, he, uh, you know, he's he's going down uh, tomorrow morning. So I'm going to say Tagage loses Jeff Cobb as new never open weight champion. Match number four of the night, grudge match. Evil taken on Sonata. Kind of brings a tear to my eye. I used to love these guys as a tag team. Singles records, there are two and two. Uh, so basically, uh, this is the uh, tiebreaker match to see who's going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, claim bragging rights, so to speak. But they are former two time IWGP heavyweight tag team champions. Uh, as far as LIJ went, uh, it was sad to kind of see, uh, you know, uh, Evil and Sonata kind of break up. Obviously, it, it had to happen because Evil went on to win the double championship. Obviously, the following out with uh, Tetsu and Naito. Uh, but the fact is, I think with regards to this, I think Evil's time has come and gone. Um, with everything that happened this morning with the main event, um, Sonata, I think, plays into that picture as well. And maybe I'll touch base on that when I get to the main event there. But I'm going to say Sonata for the win in this one here. So Sonata will go up 3-2 as far as their singles records against each other goes. Uh, match number five of the night. So the semi-main event, I do IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Taiji Ishimori as champion. So the Bone Soldier taking on Time Bomb. Hiromu Takahashi. Singles record is 2-1 and one for Ishimori. Um, interesting note on this. So IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship has changed hands every Wrestle Kingdom since 2014. So we're talking 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This will be the eighth year in a row if I can, if I did my mathematics properly. But uh, that being said, Takahashi, obviously, you know, a shoulder injury taking place and Ishimori capitalized, won the championship that way. Do we see him take it back? Um I don't see why not. I mean, Naito obviously uh, had uh, had bad luck this morning, but uh, I'm going to say with regards to Taiji Ishimori, uh, you know, he's he, if he loses, it's not necessarily the end. I, I see these guys feuding for, you know, the, the probably the, the duration of the year uh, because of the Bullet Club versus LIJ, so to speak. But uh, I'm going to say Takahashi and new. So Takahashi to become the new IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion in this match here. And finally, guys, uh, and I'll make it eight years in a row for the uh, championship change in hands there. But like I said, finally, guys, match number six, the double IWGP heavyweight and intercontinental championship match it is the one and only Jay White challenging. Yes, that's right, guys. Kota Ibushi uh, for the double championship there. So Kota was victorious. Um, that match in it's so new Japan world is, is interesting because when I went on this morning and I'm talking later this morning, not 3 AM, but when I went on this morning onto new Japan pro wrestling world, uh, they break everything down into individual matches. So I haven't seen the full event yet. I've maybe got to try a little bit harder because I'm still getting used to new Japan pro wrestling world, but they've got everything, um, in blocks, so to speak. So match one, match two, match three, you can do Japanese commentary, English commentary. So when I looked at the match between uh, uh, Kota Ibushi as well as Sets uh, Setsuya Naito, including the entrances, including like the little two to three minute promo clip at the very beginning, it's an hour long. So 
I finally started watching it, uh, you know, a couple hours ago. Still watching it, hence the fact that the recaps are going to be late. Uh, but I want to make sure to to watch it all to be able to provide full recaps and not just go off of uh, what news sites say. So, uh, but I'm going to say this: Kota Ibushi's uh, shot. Not, don't get me wrong; I wanted him to win, but I was very surprised to see him beat Naito. And uh, you know, it's uh, one hell of, hell of a match from the from the looks of it, from the sounds of it. Uh, you know, it going an hour, whatever the case may be, and all of a sudden at the very end. Jay White had come down to the ring and said, you know, basically you're going to be a one night champion. I'm going to take it off of you. Is that going to be the case? Is basically Jay White going to be that one guy that Kota Ibushi cannot beat? So when Jay White went into it for the briefcase, the G1 Climax 30 briefcase, he beat Kota Ibushi, which set up the match for this morning and sets up the match for to, uh, uh, tomorrow morning as well. I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say Kota Ibushi retains goes into New Year Dash as the champion and we see the 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 age of Ibushi exist. Um it's gonna play into uh to interesting because of the fact that when I saw the news, normally I don't like seeing spoilers, but I knew I had to do this show uh to, you know right now as well as uh, update the website and everything else. Uh but the ironically enough the uh, when I found the uh, about the news about uh, Naito losing to Ibushi it was through Facebook and it was Kenny Omega's account. So it was like, you know, that's interesting. So you got Kenny Omega, AEW champion versus uh, a Kota Ibushi dream match, so to speak, as the double champion for New Japan for wrestling IWGP. So in saying that, Kota Ibushi, I'm going to say wins. Uh, singles record is 3-1 for Jay White. Uh, so it'll be interesting uh, to see how Kota wins, uh, to see how he retains, so to speak. Um, and, uh, I mean, Jay White's going to do everything he can to try to get these uh, double championships, uh, but I don't think it's going to happen for him tonight. So I'm going to say Kota Ibushi for the win there. So running down the card, once again, my predictions, and, uh, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say, I'm going to start keeping track on cwnonline.ca. So you're going to see a spot, uh, just, I'm probably under the exclusive thing where it says predictions. So you'll be able to see how I, how well I do. I'm kind of proud of myself when I was doing the contributor thing for the uh, pwtorch.com a couple of years ago. Um, I had to do a prediction for Wrestle Kingdom, and it was only the one night of Wrestle Kingdom. But I think I went eight for nine or something like that. Like, I was just, holy crap, like, I did phenomenal, you know? It's still there. Like, it's still on the Torch site. So look for my name, Chris Maloney, pwtorch.com, uh, back in about, like I said, about two years ago. And it was uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, Weekly Overview was uh, the column that I was uh, I was doing. But uh, I think it went eight for nine. But like I said, I'm going to I'm going to start doing it on CWNOnline.ca and start keeping track of my predictions. So this will be my second predictions uh, card for 2021. So I'm just going to go year to year. But um, anyways, and that being said, long story short, like I said, I'm going to say Toriyano uh, victorious in the first match there. I'm going to say Suzuki Gun, El Desperado and Yoshinobu Kanemura. Uh, retain uh, in the second match there. I'm going to say Jeff Cobb and New. Third match there, I'm going to say Sonata uh, to uh, beat Evil. I'm going to say uh, Taiji Ishimori loses to Hiromu Takahashi, so New IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. And I'm going to say Kota Ibushi retains against Jay White. And uh, Jay White, I'm going to say basically uh, isn't going to, like I said, he's, he's going to pull everything he can to try to win both those championships, but I don't think it's going to happen for him tonight. So again, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Wrestle Kingdom Night 2, taking place live tomorrow morning, 3 a.m. Fight New Japan Pro Wrestling World. Uh, hashtag officially NJWK15, as you can see, it's scrolling across the screen there. You can check me out online personally uh, at Chris Maloney CWN. And uh, is, that is Twitter, Instagram, as well as Reddit. And uh, I will do the recaps when I can in the next couple of days. But obviously, i got to finish watching night one tonight, uh, night two tomorrow. Uh, still maintain watching all the other wrestling that takes place. But like I said, at Chris Maloney CWN, if you want to follow me on social media there. But that is it until I get the recap shows out. I'll be on Later this week, you know, obviously for episode number 21 of CWN Weekly, that's Friday, 3 p.m. I think I'm doing the Scumbags of Wrestling maybe on Thursday. 
Uh, so that I've agreed to, but uh, it's uh, we're supposed to go. So it just said, as long as nothing changes, you'll see me on that as well. And then the two recap shows, and I may do a New Year's Dash uh, as far as a prediction show as well. So keep your eyes posted. CWNonline.ca. But guys, that is it. Enjoy night two of Wrestle Kingdom coming up 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see where, uh, where they go from here. But uh, like I said, enjoy, take care, and we'll see everybody again sometime soon. All right.